What's up? Um, so I've been asked to do a dreadlock tutorial and Kyla here knows how to do uh, Synthread installations. So I ordered some Synthreads from Icy Dreads uh, and she is from Norway. Um, and they're, they're unicorn dreads pretty much and they have tinsel on them and they're so beautiful and they match my new hair color. So that's pretty much why I changed my hair. I'm planning a very special set um, for Suicide Girls and I'm doing that next week. I'm pretty excited. So yeah, let's uh, learn how to install synth dreads, um, single-ended, single-looped synth yes, dreads. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so what do we need? We need synth dreads, first of all. Yes, yeah, so make sure yes. you have your synth dreads. You also want to have your little baby elastics. Little tiny elastics. They're just little babies. They're called ouchless, actually, I think <laughs> is yes, ouchless the term. It means they don't hurt your head. <laughs> Comb. Uh, tail comb is also good to have because then you won't need a bobby pin and or crochet hook. I use a bobby pin normally because it's pretty simple. Um, just anything you can kind of wrap hair around. So, first thing, you want to separate the hair that you want to put the dreads in. So. Sunbeam. Oh, it's our van is outside. Liam's home. Oh. <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> that was a really like roundabout way of saying that. Yes. Well. So just get all the hair that you don't want in the dreads out of the way, basically. So there we go. This is the part we're going to be filling up with the mermaid dreads. I'm Yay. actually going to pull a lid out from up here. Okay, so now I'm separating the hair again, just so I have a decent little line for the first row. There we go. Comb it out the best you can. And just take a little section. You want it to be about, this is basically, this is your one strand of your braid, and then this chunk of hair is going to be two strands of your braid, but you don't want it to be too thick, so that it'll kind of blend in. You need to see it. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. Perfect. So now that you have this little piece of hair separated. Just gonna hook your bobby pin on the end. And feed it through, there'll be a little hole in your dread. And it just comes right through and pulls. So now it's secure, and you're just going to separate. Hello, Liam and start your basic braid. Two. We're doing a tutorial on dreadlock installations. Hello. So like I said, I'm just doing a basic braid. Your basic three strand braid. Try and keep the other hairs out of there. Try and do it tight so that they don't fall out. Once you get to the end, you just want to kind of bring them together in such a way so that when you wrap the elastic around, you're going to completely hide those little nubbins. <laughs> I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nubbins. So, you're going to take your ouchless and just put it right on. Clear are usually the best, especially when you're working with these bright colors. But obviously, it makes sense to just match your hair the best you can. So this is your basic. It's braided in there. I put two elastics so it's nice and tight. I might put a third in because you want it in for a week. Just to get it all in. But just make sure you have it all in and it's nice 
and tight and kind of even. And then you move on to the next. We've got two in now. Yes, two. This one is done a little bit neater because I kind of got up, got really into it. I was kind of distracted by showing you guys the first one. Three. Whee! So there's four. Four. So yeah, there we have five in, starting to fill out quite nicely. So pretty. Oh, I came home yesterday to see that my cat had somehow found a my doll and tried what? to eat it. Oh my god. He likes to eat pretty much everything. He's like, oh, this looks good to eat, and then we'll spit it out if it's not good. Jeez. <laughs> and it was just like, spit out on the floor. I'm like, you lie. a cat. I have to be careful, but like, I am super careful, but mm -hmm. they'll always find anything. Shh. I have to keep everything like locked away with this cat, because he just likes to eat it all. Like, like a puppy. <laughs> How many are in here now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're almost done. So. These are fun. So we have a few in. You can see what they look like when they're in. So you do see the braid up around here, but you just want to make sure it's nice and tight. Beautiful. Beautiful. Secure. You can like pull on them. They're not going to fall. Does that hurt? Nope. Good. Does it feel great? That means it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, to get your perfect tread braid, you're going to take a section of hair that is along the line you're cutting, comb it out. You can sometimes wet it if you feel like you don't have a lot of control, but don't wet it too much because then you can get gross moldy hair in it. <laughs> yeah, so just a light little spritz with a squirt bottle is fine. When you have dreadlocks, you should never have your hair wet within 24 hours. Yeah. Um, of getting it wet. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> that can create mold. And they should dry within six hours of getting them wet. Yeah. To prevent mold. Exactly. And roll that shit. The more you know. The more you know. And if you have loose bits, take a crochet hook in between your fingers and knot it. You can tutorial that yeah. on YouTube. For sure. Don't you lazy. Ha. <laughs> I did one for Suicide Girls. Dreads are a lot of work. They are. A lot of people think they're low maintenance, which I mean... They are in a way, yeah. but you have to take care of them. Mm -hmm. they're, they're big maintenance and sometimes, mm -hmm. and they can cause you a lot of pain sometimes, especially when you first get them. Oh, yeah. Um, or when you get your roots maintained. Exactly. Oh my god, your head hurts for like a week. It's so tight. So what I did there was I took up that strand of hair that I put through, stuck it through a bobby pin, and stuck it through the hole that was in the dread. So now you have two pieces like this. You're going to take this strand of hair and split it into two. So now you have three strands, including the dread, and you're going to simply braid it as you would a normal braid. You basically just want to make it very tight. And you just keep going with it. So it's pretty simple to put in single ended ones. It's just really hard to do it on your own. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can get the side ones, just not yeah. the ones in the back, and then it just looks silly. Yeah. <laughs> Should I turn this way? Yeah, if you okay. don't mind. Boop, 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 boop. And we're going to put them... He's a good friend of mine. That's so awesome. Yeah. Well, oh, that's that's really what it looks. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's this tattoo? I've never seen that one. No, I've never seen it. Oh, wait, no, I have seen that yeah. one. It's just been a while. Yeah. It's really pretty. I love that one. I'm going to take this Ooh, one. Ooh, so many. Oh my god, there's so many more girls in my hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So Yay. they're in there. Nice and dirty. Oh, I'm so shiny. I'm sweating. I know, right? I'm shiny as shit. I'm shimmering. All right. So that's um, that's how you put single ended thin threads in your hair. Yep. And, nice um, little braidy braid. It kind of fills out. It brings the color. Kind of. It kind of looked like my hair was missing something before. And uh, now it's not missing anything. Now it's got nice full dirty dreads. Tiki unicorn hair. Unicorn hair. Oh. And um, yeah, so I'll be shooting that set with um, It To E Suicide um, next Monday. So that's exciting. She's lovely. I yeah. met her yesterday. Good stuff. Okay. Um, do you guys have any questions or comments or anything about dreadlocks or dreadlock installation or suggestions or anything like that just let me know and leave it in the comments and good stuff um you can follow kyla on youtube i mean not youtube you can follow kyla on um instagram, instagram yeah. and yeah yeah it's good stuff bye